about coming from a motorhome show like this is that you get to see all kinds of motorhomes. Great big huge ones like this. Medium sized motorhomes like this coach building. Caravans. Oh. And then there are miniature motorhomes like this or micro campers as they're usually called. It's a Zio and it's made by a small company called Creation Campus based in Wrexham, North Wales. Creation Campus is run and owned by Gemma and Simon Robbins, who actually design the thing, put it all together and then sell it. And incidentally, Simon Robbins happens to be the fastest motorhomer in the world. In a previous dog that they built, it's got up to over, over 150 miles an hour. I know that because I was there. It was fantastic. This isn't going to go as fast. Is it going to go at all as far as being a motorhome is concerned? How is it possible? There's only one way to find out. You know what that is. I've got to get inside and check it out. Well, here I am inside. And look, I can stand up. Oh, hello. <laughs> But, let's be realistic, this motorhome is not designed for standing up and wandering around in. It's designed for people who want to go somewhere, who want all the facilities that a motorhome has to offer, who want to be able to park up easily, not have to worry about finding a huge amount of space. We just want to be able to do it when and where they feel like it, which is a great idea. Now, let's see what's available in this motorhome. We've got a two burner grill, gas of course. We've got a nice deep sink. Now there's no additional sink for washing, no additional facilities for washing, no shower. I mean it's not realistic is it? But you can sit here and wash your face, have a shave. A mirror might be a nice idea just there. Gemma make a note. And what else have we got? We've got a gas locker here with a reasonable size gas cylinder and we've got a surprising amount of storage. A nice drawer here, a cupboard here, another cupboard here. Excuse me a sec. Oh it's a hot day and this is thirsty work. And then underneath the cooker we've got absolutely tons of storage just as much as you get in some bigger panel van conversions. It's all very well put together, it feels solid, it looks nice, there's a lot of contrasting colours, well not really, just black and grey and red, bright red. That follows through onto the seating here which looks like leather but I'm told it's very very high quality leatherette. Or well, pretend it's leather shall we? So the idea is that one person or even two people can sit in here quite comfortably, shuffling along as they see fit, as they need to. You cannot walk around in it, let's get that very clear indeed. As I said, there's no additional washing facility, but there is, under here, a porta potty, which is nice. And if you put the passenger seat forward, the porta potty will actually sit down in that space behind the passenger seat. Okay, what about sleeping facilities? Well, obviously, this is the bed. How does it work? Well, in order to show you, I'm going to have to get out, so excuse me a sec. Putting the bed away is a bit of a doddle as well. You just pull that out. Nudge it in a bit, jump in, always 110 amp hour, measure battery under there, push the bed back in, lift that up, and hey, nice and comfortable sitting down again. Now then, there are some very nice features in here that I haven't actually mentioned. I didn't mention the fridge either, which is a very reasonable size for one or two people. Then, look at this, you've got some special lighting effects. You just spin your finger around here, and you can change the colour up here and along here, from green through to blue, purple, red, 
even yellow, and then white. That's a neat little touch. There's another little LED light here. Touch it, switch it on. Touch it and switch it off. Nice little blue glow. It's all very nice. And here's another nice touch. That's good, isn't it? When you're cooking on the hob here, you've got a place for food preparation. And this is good too. It's one of those tower power blocks. It's got three 13 amp sockets and a couple of USB sockets as well, which is very convenient indeed. Up it goes and it's out of the way. Got a little shelf here. Home. How oh, nice. And <laughs> some little storage space here. More storage space up here, and I forgot to mention the storage space underneath the seat come bed. There's loads of it. You could put all sorts of things in there, and the storage doesn't finish on the inside. Because I open the sliding door, and where the porta potty lives, can be accessed through this door here. So you don't need the porta potty. You've got another additional load of storage space. There really is a surprising amount of space for storing things built in to this micro camper. Now, as far as driving is concerned, well, I can't because I'm not allowed to at the show. But one day, I hope to go out on it and maybe spend a couple of nights and see what it's really like to live in. Or, better still, get a souped up engine in there and take it out and try and beat that world speed record. I mean, it looks the part, doesn't it? And I know I could do it. Ah, oh, watch this space. Now I know what you're thinking. Okay, it's a really nice little motorhome for some people. It's absolutely ideal, but it's ever so tiny. But it's got a very tiny price as well. Imagine if you could buy a brand new motorhome on the road for under £30,000. Not just under £30,000, around about £4,000 less than £30,000. The price varies according to the options that you choose, and there are a considerable list of options, including an awning. But all in all, I think it's a fantastic little It's unique. But for that price, <laughs> you can't go wrong. Well done, Gemma and Simon.